I cannot believe he is relaxing in such a luxurious ski resort. While I have to work double here. Ugh. I don't mind him enjoying a break, but the fact the boss decided I can handle two people's work? Ugh. There's just so much work to do. Uh, normally he carries everyone in this office on his shoulders. How does the boss expect us to function without him? I guess you never really appreciate someone properly until they're gone. But seriously though, a free vacation? The company pays for everything? Something sounds suspicious. He even said he gets compensation because he has to share the room with someone. What's up with that? Ugh. <sighs> Well, I guess he deserves a break. I hope he enjoys his time there to the fullest. I can pester him about it when he returns at least. Fluff, look, over there. They even have a fireplace. We should try to light it up. It is way too cold outside, and the fire will look beautiful, no? As well as get us all snuggled up for tonight. Yes, yes, cub. But do be careful not to burn the entire cabin, okay? I'm trusting you with this, so don't let me down, alright? Huh? What did you say? Do you doubt my pyro capabilities? I already found a lighter in some old newspaper. Just gotta light it up, and... <gasps> Ta-da! Look how well it burns. Now, I just need to toss it into the fireplace. Quick, help me grab some wood from over there. <sighs> here you go. This should be enough for now, right? Uh, even I have to admit you're quite good at starting fires. It's just putting them out after that last incident. Do you not want to play with the fire for a bit longer? It's so mesmerizing. I always thought there was a tiny little fire fairy inside, dancing side to side. Plus, it makes my eyes want to go a little fuzzy since I'm so relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a goofball. We can play with the fire all night, if you like, cub. First, though, I would like to get my luggage into the room. Also... Isn't this place just a bit too big for the two of us? There's lots more to explore than just the fireplace. So what do you say? <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we can find. But first, put the guard over the fire, alright? Hmm, good job. I'm just trying my best, but you're right. It's far too big for the both of us. Hmm. Do you think there'll be a dungeon? <gasps> Maybe a massive attic with a secret inside. Or a trap door that leads into a hidden room like you pull a book from a shelf and bam! It opens up and dust goes everywhere. I... doubt that. But I do appreciate that creative mind of yours. Hmm... Maybe we can find more things to play with. Huh? Huh? More toys? Let's go, let's go! What do we have in this room? Mm. Oh, it's a bathroom. Boring. <laughs> Don't say that. I mean, look at that. This bathtub. It is so... huge. God, it makes me want to strip and hop in right away. All right. Not now. I was teasing you, silly. Being figurative with my speech. But maybe we can take one together later tonight after we play with the fire. You know how much the smell of smoke will stick to our fur. You'd like that. It's been quite a while since we've had a bath together. Do you remember the last time? I think it was back at that family's place. Hey, it's okay. Forget about them. We only need us, remember? Want to check out more rooms? All right, then what about this door? Oh, oh the kitchen. Is 
Is it okay if I look for some snacks? I already know you will hurt your tummy. So, no. Mm, but fluff, just a little bit. I promise I won't eat too much. No means no. We can have some after we eat dinner. You can't handle too much processed food either. And you'll stuff yourself until you pop if I let you have something now. Eh? You're gonna snack too? How very rare of you. <laughs> well, this is a vacation after all. Let's look into the next room, okay? Alright. This looks like the bedroom, but why is there only one small bed? I mean, we do like to share a bed, but this one's a little bit small, no? Maybe we both got our own room then. Let me see. Yeah, see? This is also a bedroom, but this one does have a big bed in it. Very spacious. Not fair, you get to sleep in the big one and I have to stay in the small one? You can always join me, you know? Hmm, I'm just upset you got the big one. <laughs> it's not even my bed, silly. I just opened the door. But, but, uh, they like you more anyway, stupid agency. I do not like them. I don't think they like me any more than they like you. But it is odd. Why would they send us here? This looks good. Way too good, if you think about how the dorms at the adoption center look. I don't think we should complain, because this bed is very soft. And the cabin is quite beautiful in its own way. Maybe they found a treasure and needed us out of the room. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Well, good for us. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy every second of this. The agency are gonna regret it if they ask us to come back. No way I'm gonna leave this place in a hurry. Wait, so do you mean this is our new home then? I am not sure about it. But it does look like a promising place to settle down. Does it not? I agree, I agree, I agree. <laughs> I want it to be. I mean, we don't need anybody else. Together, we are unbeatable. We don't need no human to take care of us. Ugh, oh a human! My. Who are you? <laughs> I don't know you by your smell. Identify yourself. State your business. Are you here to take us back? Mm. Hmm. Well, you don't smell like the agency guys, but you do look hungry. Wanna share some snacks? Cub, I told you no snacks before dinner. Anyway, human, why are you here? You're not with the agency, right? Are you lost? We can help you. I'm a survival genius. You don't need to be scared at all. Get... get off? Oh, oops. <laughs> right, I can be a little overbearing, so I've been told. <laughs> um, if I can ask, what is your name? Ah, well, hey there. I'm Cub, and this is my big sister Fluff. We are currently on vacation in this amazing cabin that we might reside in forever, but we don't really know what's going to happen if the meanie bobinis come back. But that's a problem for another day because there's snacks in the kitchen. <laughs> um, and if you get some, can you sneak me some more? <laughs> uh, I can hear you. Sorry. Did I hear that correctly? You're supposed to be in this cabin. Are you sure you got the right cabin? Cabin 107. No, that is correct. But you see, this is our cabin. That's right. We were behaving well and deserve to take a break. Foster mom Alice said so. We don't mind sharing it with you. You do seem interesting, as well as free entertainment. Mm-hmm. She's right. You can play with us. We are currently planning to play with the fireplace. 
You see all the embers? I did that. Made it all by myself. And nope, I did not burn my hands nor my fur. Although, I might be a little smoky smelling. <laughs> Leave now? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, mister. Don't you see the snowstorm? There is no way that you can make it. <laughs> no, not even if you try. At least for today, you're stuck in here. Hmm? Serious? Stuck with us. We're not so bad. Unless you dislike Nekominis, then... Ooh, yikes. We are in for an awkward night. Don't worry. There are two bedrooms in this cabin. You can take one, and I share the big bed with my sister. Hey, wait. I want my own bed. You say that now, but when it gets late, you sneak into mine anyway. No, don't say that. The human is not supposed to know that. <laughs> I don't think he will mind, cub. Mm, fine. But just to be clear, I am not a baby, and I can sleep alone. I just... I don't like it, okay? And she's warm. Why make my own body heat when I can leech it off of somebody else? Mm -hmm. <sighs> don't mind her. She is just... a bit weary of humans. Not like I am much different. I'm just... Oh? <laughs> Oh my, mature. Me? If you say so. <laughs> uh, but we both just didn't have good experiences with humans. So we tend to be careful around them. Not to hold anything against you, of course. One person doesn't act on behalf of all. That's why we gave you a big ol' sniff. We just had to smell you, to know if you're evil or not. <sighs> but it's true, that family stink. I smelled it the moment we entered their house, they were evil. Yeah, we are currently living with the adoptive agency. Why? Oh, you are worried if we still live with them. How surprisingly kind of you for your concern. We don't. They didn't want us anymore. They said we were too much to deal with. Apparently we were mischievous and dangerous. Hm. I never wanted to be there in the first place. As if I would have willingly gone to their stinky butts. Hmm. No need to feel sorry for us, human. But thank you for showing empathy. They were so cruel. We never did anything to be treated like that. Even if we were bad, shouldn't we get help instead of being punished all the time? It is not our fault we were trying to break open the cupboards. I was hungry. What else was there to do? If you're starving and those flimsy wooden cupboards are in the way, then my dang claws are going through them. Yeah. After dinner, we never got to eat anything again. They locked everything away. Why would they do that? We told them we were still hungry. Good girls don't eat after 9 p.m., is what they told us. Is that really true? Do humans not eat after 9 p.m.? But how come restaurants are open even after that? See? I told you this isn't normal. I was sure about it. They were just bad humans. You wouldn't let me starve, would you? <laughs> of course not. You don't smell evil, after all. <laughs> Does it bother you? <laughs> the sniffing? Mm -hmm. I'm unsure if you've actually had much interaction mm -hmm. with wolf girls before. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, whenever I get overwhelmed by emotions, my instincts kind of get the better of me. Your smell just, it calms me down. I'm sorry. Huh? It's okay? Really? <laughs> You're not a pervert. Are you? Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm just teasing you. But Cub is right. You do have a relaxing scent. Aww, no need to blush. I'm not gonna eat you. 
yet. <laughs> She's joking. We do not eat humans. But I will bite you if you're mean to my sister. Cub, no biting. But I was protecting you. But we don't bite humans. We want to get adopted again. No? Yes. Sorry if she's a bit wild at times. Hmm? Close to you, me. Don't be silly. This is normal for a wolf. No lying, Fluff. She is just as excited, you know? We haven't met any new humans since the incident on our first foster family home. I am <laughs> not excited. Shut it! Anyway, say, mister, will you not adopt us? Cub! But I mean, he smells like we can trust him. That is no reason to... Really? 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 You would really adopt us. You would actually consider it. Thank you, mister. Behave. But of course, we will be good girls for you, right, Fluff? Uh, right. <laughs> But, are you truly okay with us? Obviously, this is a bit sudden, nor did we expect this at all. Oh, thank you. You seem really nice as well. We will behave just fine. Oh, I was so deep in our conversation, I forgot about the fire. I want to play. I want to play, I want... Hmm? No. But why? Mister, you're no fun. Mm. You sound just like my sister. Mm. Cub, just listen to him. He doesn't want you to hurt yourself. But I won't. I guess. But I want to play now, so come on, mister. Mm. Stay. What do you mean, stay? When you say that, you want us to stand still? I... I guess... Is it a condition to us getting adopted? But why? I thought you liked us. You do? Then why are you being such a mean? Small apartment. Oh, you would get in trouble if we were too loud. Well, that makes sense. We can be a bit energetic at times. So we need to be silent all day again? No, oh. Um, you just wanted to know if we can follow commands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to show the agency that we respond to you? Well, all right. Then what is there to learn? Stay. Yeah, I got that already. What else? Hmm? Sit? Just on the ground? When would that ever be handy? All right, all right. I'll do as you say. Happy now? Hey, why are you laughing? Mister, are you bullying me? He was just teasing you, cub. Mister, you're such a meanie. I couldn't just sat down on the couch. That was a nice of you. Things aren't so obvious. My nose must be playing tricks on me. Maybe you are evil after all. Meh. I think he is just a goofball. You two will get along well then. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Oh, the, the training, yeah. Uh, what is next? What? You want me to do this as well? But... No. I know. I also need to show the agency I respond to you. It's just... Ah, <sighs> fine. <sighs> is this to your liking, master? Oh, you like me calling you that? Master. <laughs> he looks so silly. <laughs> Master. Master. <laughs> my, my. What a fun little game. Right, Master? Shush. Did you just... This is training. Are you serious? This is not just you trying to make us shut up, right? It's important. Well, all right. Try it again. I'm going to be good at it.
Sí. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Don't mind her. Staying silent is actually the one thing that she's bad at. You know, in the dorm, she always gets into fight with foster mom Alice because she cannot. Cub, enough. He doesn't need to know. Is there anything else you want to train? Pa? What do you mean, Pa? Oh, I know. You mean this, right? You just want to hold hands with cute girls that bad, huh? <laughs> just stay safe near the road. You... You really are thinking things through, huh? I'm pleasantly surprised at how serious you're taking this. All right. Here. You have my hand as well. Uh-huh. Huh? You? You're petting us. Really? That is... No, I'm not saying it is a bad thing. I just... I feel warm inside. Uh, mister? Will you really adopt us? Like, really, really? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm gonna be the bestest. I'm gonna be the bestest behaving wolf girl just for you, I promise. Mm -mm. I will at least try, okay? <laughs> Silly human. <sighs> no, no, I'm not sleepy. And I didn't even have dinner. Or after dinner snacks. And you promised we would play with the fire. Ah! Mm -hmm. Stop yawning. It is contagious. <laughs> See? Even the human is getting sleepy. Or maybe I should refer to you as Master now. <sighs> Anna? You mean we can have dinner afterwards? And snacks too? What about if you let me put another log on the fire? Now, Cub, are you sure that is a good idea? What's that supposed to mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not some klutz. No. Oh. I am just worried about you. So you'd better take care of her. You hear me, human? Hey, I'm getting really sleepy now. Can we maybe take that nap? What? Don't try to get up. No, you're gonna sleep with us. We're a pack now, mister. We sleep together. If you sleep by yourself, that would mean something terrible happened. We've we'll already split apart. We sleep together from now on. Every single night. Even if you're experiencing your worst days. Having the most terrible night. You are always accepted by the pack. Mm. She's right. I don't want to leave your side as well. How about we pull blankets from the couch and cuddle up together near the fireplace? As long as I can stay close to both of you, I don't care where we sleep. But wouldn't it be nice news in here? Uh, the fire. It's dancing for me again. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Do you mind giving me a hand real quick? And done. Now get down. Mmm, it's sleepy time. It's so different now that you're here, Master. But I'm excited and I'm all giddy inside. It's like I got those bugs trapped in my tummy. What do you call it? Butterflies? <laughs> I always found that a funny thing. It's as if I ate a little baby caterpillar and they're all grown up inside. Yes, yes, you delirious but spoiled little wolf. I'm not spoiled. But, mister, can you pet my ears while I try and sleep? It helps me calm down. Mmm. Thank you. I'm looking forward to living with you. There's so much to discuss and talk about. Now, what's that word her foster mom from the agency Alice always says? Ah, life experience. Yeah, 
You're going to give us so much life experience. And we're going to give it to you back. It's how you develop as a person. So anything that changes us for the better is all thanks to you. And, hmm, having a steady home would be a very nice change for me personally. <sighs> I think I'm using my brain too much. She is always so rambly before bed. It's how you know she's about to pass out. Very adorable. And her filter is even less. <laughs> oh? Why do you look at me like that? Me? Also wanting head <laughs> pats. N no, I wouldn't want that. Y you saw my look. What kind of look? <coughs> you, you're touching my ears. N no, I, I like it. It's just a bit embarrassing. But it does feel nice. Mm, be quiet, you two. I can't fall asleep while you talk. Fine, fine. Good night, cub. Good night, human. Um, master. Mm. Good night, Fluff. Good night, mister. Oh, and another thing. I'm a really good pet sitter. If you're ever worried about... I was paying her way. I could like, I could pet her cat and then I'd feed it and refresh its water and get paid like money in exchange for the goods and services. Mm. Oh, um, painting is a fun job. If I paint people's fences in summer for cheap, well, the sun will dry it out faster and then you can get it all done in a day and then, then I get money for that. Or I could be a dog walker. You know, dogs react really funny to me, but it's always fun when they realize I'm a friend of dog. <laughs> I just cover up my ears in a hoodie. Mmm, you do have hoodies, right? Lots that I could steal and wear. I love that you're a bigger size than me, master. So all your tops will be super duper comfy. You wanna dress up your wolf girls, right? Or else, what's the point? We have to look good for ya. <laughs> the plan was a huge success. I knew I wasn't crazy for dreaming up that concept. So far, it's been three months since they got together, shall I say. Both girls seem to have really learned their manners, which I'm very impressed with. They've come on leaps and bounds since having a stable home and a new member to their pack. All it takes is a kind and considerate owner to help the growth of a wolf girl. They have become less scared of new humans in general and are much more socialized. I knew it was the right choice to take matters in her own hands. Those poor girls. They were trapped in the agency. No wonder they were so reckless at the time. They felt overwhelmed, but we simply did not have the money nor the time to give them what they needed in that moment. But now, thanks to some help from one of our partners, we finally found someone who could give them the love they deserve. When they first told me about him, I already knew he would be the right one for these girls. He is a team player in his office, Everyone likes and respects him. A cheerful person with a big heart. I hope this will be the last entry in the file of these two wolves. Enjoy your new family. May your pet grow stronger with this new member inside. Alice, signing off.